Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what I stored away for our Disney trip. It is six more days until our Disney trip. And as you can see, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but as you can see, it's on our on my phone on the Walt Disney World countdown app. And I apologize if there's noise in the background. We live in a new neighborhood and there is construction going on like crazy today. So, this trip that we're going on is a land and sea trip. Um, if you're not familiar with what that is, what that means is we're going to Disney World. We're going to fly in on Sunday. Stay Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. And then Friday, we will be picked up at our resort by the cruise line bus and it will take us to Port Canaveral, which is about an hour away. And we will then board the Disney Dream ship. And we will take a three night cruise to the Bahamas and to Disney, Disney's Castaway Key Island, which is their private island. And I'm so excited about that. So if you've taken one of these trips and you have any good tips please comment below so I'm gonna show you um, I feel like this is just um, I just have a little square box and I just I've been collecting stuff um, we've known about this trip for probably I guess four or five months and so I've just been collecting stuff I've always done this um, I used to think I was a weirdo for doing it but I've seen people on YouTube that do it also so I'm glad to know I'm not the only weirdo I just collect stuff and that way, you know, it brings up the anticipation of going on a trip and then it's just fun to kind of collect um, stuff that I want to take with me. And so I just put it in this bin. Um, the first thing I have in here is our magic bands. And these are our magic bands. Um, these will be the key to our hotel, the key to our fast passes. Um, pretty much your lifeline that you wear on your wrist while you're at Disney. Tyler, my oldest son, he got the Avengers uh, band, which I thought was really cool. And then my husband went with the Pirates of Caribbean. I don't know if you can see that real good, but Pirates of Caribbean um, band. And then my other son, Carson, he wished he just went with gray because he has a black band that we bought before. Um, one of our prior trips and so he just wanted to wear the black so I was like that's fine. Then I got the purple um, because I got on Etsy and it is called shopemilyg.etsy.com um, and I will link that below in case you're interested. She has some really cool um, decals that you can put on your band. This is the one that I got. It's kind of a um, Safari leaves, all different color. I just thought that would be really pretty on the purple. Okay, and then the next thing I purchased was from Vera Bradley. They were having like a 70% sale. And I got this um, cover for my iPad so that when we fly on the plane, it will be um, safe and sound in this. It's real nice. Wow. Excuse my dog, he's barking because my son just came in. And then for Christmas I received some eyeshadow from one of my friends at work and I just um, put that in there. I got these reusable makeup removing cloths for sensitive skin. I've never tried them before. Um, it says you can use them without water. I'm without water. Without soap, I meant, or any kind of product. They're just water activated. So I just thought those were kind of cool. I was going to try those. And then also at Vera Bradley, I picked up this little keychain wallet thing to keep my driver's license and a couple of cards in. I got some Mickey socks for Christmas for my kids. I'll definitely be wearing those. I picked up this Let It Snow Girl um, from Ulta. It's just a, a cute little, it's 19 eyeshadows. Um, four blushes and two bronzers. I'll let you know how it is. I like Too Faced products. I've tried them before and I really do like them. So I wanted to save that for the trip. And then of course I wanted to do my nails before we went. So I picked up these at Walmart. I thought these were really cute. And then I found these at Walmart um, in the birthday section. 
I thought those were super cute. They've got like all kinds of nickies. I got some from Bath and Body Works, some antibacterial hand gel. I have to take on a trip because in Disney, um, there's not always a place to stop and wash your hands. So that's just nice to carry in your bag so that you can use that before you grab a snack or eat. And then I picked up some Frosted Coconut Snowball Shower Gel at Bath and Body Works. Um, I do like the shower gel at Disney, but I just, I always like to get something like this, you know, just because that way I know, and then I also got some Vanilla Bean Noel, that way I know, you know, because it kind of dries my skin out a little bit if we're there for a long time. If it's just like a two or three night trip, it's okay, but for like a week or more, it really dries my skin out. I got this um, at Ulta also. It's Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Replenishing Hydrator. And I love this stuff. It hydrates my skin so well. And it's just a little too, I think it was like $12. It's kind of expensive, but it really does a good job. For Christmas from one of my friends, I also got one of these um, Let's Pre-Glam Face Mask from Pink. I've never done a face mask. Um, so I thought, well, it'll be fun to try on a vacation. I'm going to see if I like it. Let me know if you do face mask, if there's one that you like. I've never tried one before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that on vacation and see what I think about it. I'll let you know. Also, um, I'll have to look this up and see where I got this on Etsy. So I thought this was so cute. It's our first Disney cruise. This is gonna be our first Disney cruise. So it's the, our first Disney cruise um, magnet to go on the door because apparently you decorate the stateroom doors with magnets so I thought this was so cute and then I thought about making some Mickey magnets with our names on it to go underneath it to decorate our door I thought that was so cute oh and my shirt I don't know if you can see it or not and um, the anchor with my monogram here I got this also on Etsy and I'll figure out which store it was. Um, I got it last year when we went on our um, cruise to Alaska, but I'll um, link that down below. It's really comfortable, just half zip um, sweatshirt and it's, I just, it's so cute. They have so many different monograms that you can choose from and different things. From Amazon, I got this passport holder. It's a family passport holder because I kept typing in passport holder and I couldn't find one that held multiple passports. So family passport is what you type in, duh. <laughs> but anyway, this just holds our passports here. Now when you go to the Bahamas, you don't have to have a passport. You can just take a driver's license and your birth certificate. But um, we have passports from going to Alaska and then my oldest son decided to get a passport because he wanted one just in case we go out of the country again. And it's just better to have a passport because if something was to happen while you were in the Bahamas, if you got sick and had to go in the hospital or something like that, um, that way you, you know, it wouldn't take you so long to get back to the United States. But, you know, I have gone without a passport to Bahamas. so. You know, it's not a huge deal. It's just your preference, but it does make, it does make you feel a little safer if you have a passport. And then I also, every year when we take a vacation, we always put all of our cords uh, to our phones, our watches, our laptops, our cameras. We have so many cords for everything and we just throw them in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the suitcase. And I was like, this year I want to be organized. So I'll link this down below. I got this on Amazon and it is a tech, it's, I think it's called a cord tech bag. And it is so cool because it has, you know, little slots to put your um, cords. It even comes with straps to strap the cord into the sections. So I just thought that was really cool. I think that's gonna be really useful. And then, um, I picked up a few shirts. Um, they have a new Star Wars land in Disney um, at Hollywood Studios and so we're so excited to see that and last year we went to Disney they had the new um, Toy Story World um, which I'd like to go back to because we didn't get to it was kind of a rush through there and it was so crowded because it was new 
but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I do like Star Wars, um, but in Disney, everything is so awesome. So even if you're a fan or not, I'm sure it's the coolest place ever. Um, but I picked up this Star Wars shirt at Target um, that I thought would be cute to wear. This is the front and this is the back. And I think it was $14.99. So, you know, that's reasonable. Um, a Star Wars shirt in Disney, I'm sure, is probably 30 to 35 bucks. Um, so I picked that up. And then at Old Navy one day, um, this was $16.99, but it was on sale. I think I got it for like $7. I just picked up a real cute um, Mickey t shirt. Old Navy has some really cute. Um, Mickey shirts or Disney shirts they have really cute stuff and then on Etsy I'll link her um, her shop below it's Blair Designs um, I think it's uh, BlairDesigns.com or something like that um, she has the cutest stuff and so on her Black Friday sale I picked up this long sleeve blue shirt and it says uh, let it snow let it snow let it snow and I thought that was so cute. And it's so comfortable. It's the uh, Comfort Colors shirt. It's long sleeve and it's just really cute. I saved this out of um, a cereal box. I can't even remember what cereal it was, but it was Frozen 2. And it's just the Olaf. Sorry, I oh. couldn't quite hear you. Sorry, Sari. I don't know why she's talking. She has a mind of her own. Okay, um... This came out of the cereal box Olaf uh, tattoo. I thought that was so cute. I don't know. I may put it on a cup or a plastic uh, makeup bag or something. I'm not sure yet. And then last but not least, uh, my Ipsy bag. I don't know if you're subscribed to Ipsy, but it's like $10 a month. Um, they send you a bag every month and five products. And it's just kind of a fun little thing. And I got, this month, I got some blush, face case cosmetics blush. And I was going to take that on a trip because I like the Ipsy products because they're small and they're easy to travel and you don't have big bulky makeup to travel with. And this is just a primer that I got. Um waterproof bronzer which I don't use a lot of bronzer so I'm not sure if I'll take that and this is a lipstick That's, it's kind of a plum purple color I thought that was really pretty so I'm going to take that and then I got some leave-in conditioner that's not in here right now because I've been using it last but not least I found these cute anchor flip-flops at Bass the other day when I was at the outlet mall. They were going out of business and I got these for like $10. I thought those would be cute for the pool and on the cruise. I think that's about it that I've collected for this Disney trip. And so if you like this video today, please hit the like button, please subscribe. We will have lots of content coming from our Disney trip and our cruise. And thanks for watching.